Welcome to Suman ITTV, India's first and only exclusive IT channel truly dedicated to students, employees and software professionals where you can learn and learn new things. Upgrade your skill set, educate and empower yourself in IT enabled services. Welcome to Suman ITTV Tech Talks. This series is the first time of 30 years experience to na senior IT executive Mr. Abhiram Gar. Abhiram Garu, he is expert in investment banking, corporate finance and IT business development also. So, in nadigi manu iroju asal current trend ela ondo tells kunda. So, Abhiram Garu, namaste and ela onnaru. Great. Thank you. And I would like to thank Suman TV and uh, thanks to you also thank for you. a good introduction. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. So, first of all, ipudu at present trend set ela ondi uh, regarding the software in the market. Great. Uh, yeah. I mean, the IT industry gurinchi, I will talk a little bit. Uh, I think I am okay with English and Telugu, right? So, uh, IT globally has been pretty much influenced with a lot of developments which are happening. Particularly, every person is using ChatGPT. So, that means it is the advent of uh, AI era. AI is artificial intelligence era. So, with this, uh, there are a lot of new opportunities and uh, things are which are cropping up. And also, a lot of things which are existing are going to vanish. So, Personally, I see that uh, the exciting times for all the techies, those who have to really look in terms of the emerging trends. I see the emerging trends are in the area of AI and ML and also big data analytics, IoT, AR, VR and also we are talking about the cyber security. These are the key things I see that uh, which are going to drive the nations and the companies for next 5 to 10 years. You are saying AI impact is going to be uh, definitely is, uh, it's visible in the market or not? Yeah, so that is a very good question. Uh, what is happening is AI, AI, everybody are talking and with the, there is also fear because people are hearing differently. Elon Musk says something and India government says something and then whole lot of uh, confusion is there. Mm -hmm. But AI is real and AI is already there with us. Not now, for the last uh, five, ten years. As we are speaking, we are already attached to the AML, right? People watching the YouTube, there is AML. People watching the Google, I mean, they're using and there is already there. It's all there in the machine learning part. Now, what is happening is the AI, which is the deep learning mechanism, which is the result of it uh, is the chat GPT. So, only we have seen only chat GPT with that only people across the globe are going hang, I mean topsy-turvy. So, I see this is a tip of the iceberg and uh, AI has a tremendous impact and people would not have seen what it means because now after that what? So, this is where the interesting space for all the techies and the companies globally. Hmm. So, now what about uh, recession? Yeah, see, the recession, this talk is going on for uh, almost a year and a half globally also because of the so many things like there was a Russia-Ukraine war and different, different aspects have contributed to the recession. So, but when recession really happens, by this time, we would have really saw the impact and the, some of the indicators which are shown in US and the European Union, recession is started and it uh, at a very stable side and uh, we don't have to worry so much about recession at this stage and uh, future we have to focus on the growth and technology so i see that uh, recession is a past and we are already moved ahead of it hmm. yeah. so existing it employees whoever is already in uh, how they need to upskill their next level Thanks. Actually, uh, before I answer that, I want to go a step back and say, now because of AI, now people are confused. Now, whether their jobs are there or jobs are not there, how many will, how they will survive and what are the ways to upskill and all this. But let me tell you very simple things. What is AI doing? It is all about automating the various processes in the industry whether it is manufacturing, whether it is transportation, whether it is supply chain or whether it is even the financial services. The biggest uh, usage of AI is being done in the fintech. 
Now, fintech, what they have done? So, people are really feeling the power of fintech uh, globally. So, because that can give the best of the advice and they can be more transparent, reduce the issues of customer service, all that. So, A, jobs are pertaining to two levels. One is horizontal, one is the vertical wise. So, what is vertical? Basically, say for there is a manufacturing, there is a production in charge. So, can I replace a production in charge and say that uh, we don't need him? Yes, production in charge will remove all the supporting guys who are doing a daily task, routine task. That is what has been automated using the RPA and the uh, newfound AI. AI has uh, tremendous potential in terms of removing this layer because uh, they are all repetitive. Whatever you can automate a repetitive task, those jobs are gone. So, the, most of the employees who are worried, those who are in the tech space, like they are only doing coding, they are only doing QA. Okay. Even QA and all these levels also are going to be automated. So, what is the next step? So, they have to upgrade themselves to the next level, which is in alignment with the AI. Now, AI has a different, different uh, roles like, you know, AI engineer has come. All these new roles have emerged for the last two years. AI engineer, ML engineer and data analyst, data scientist mm -hmm. and data analyst and juniors and also the trainees. So, there is a path defined there. So, I see the people have to discover based on their strength, what is their interest and quickly upskill. Now, coming to when I am saying only a beyond the point, I mentioned four or five areas where that emerging trends are coming like cyber security, big data analytics and also RPA is there already. So, all this also they can graduate to the next level by going from a normal coding to those uh, things quickly and in India see me actually there are a lot of institutions which are offering and what I personally see is globally India is at an advantage position. Let's say there is a AI impact and people losing jobs. Globally they will lose but that will be advantage to India only only if we upskill. See because ultimately they have to come to India. We have a huge talent force and very talented one and they can easily be upgraded to next skills. It's a bigger opportunity than Y2K I feel. So basically Y2K was a low end job and now this opportunity is a bigger thing and then um, whole world is looking to India. So I see that uh, there is not an issue in terms of job losses. It is about how you migrate to the next level. So just we need to upgrade our skills. Skills. And also it is a real fact, even recently IMF uh, chief has uh, given a notice, I mean this uh, warning. So globally there will be job losses. When IMF is saying they have a huge uh, set of data. So they said 25 to 30 percent Indian employees will get affected. They have not given the information how much of that will be IT workforce. So what I feel is the people who are users of technology, they are doing repetitive work, they will be at a first line of uh, firing. So, but uh, coming to the IT workforce, there is a tremendous opportunity for them to upskill and grow themselves and the uh, economy in India. Okay. So, in this case, lot of new technologies are coming. We all know that. So, what about the future of IT industry in India especially? Yeah, India, it is a golden period and uh, whoever are in IT, they for personally I have seen because I advise a lot of IT companies and also I advise the technology companies also partnering with them. I see India is very well poised, nothing to worry and then only thing is they have to really match their liking to the new technologies, adoptability and then they should also upskill very quickly. So it is not that you know I'll have six months time. Because of AI what is happening is now the learning everything is uh, speed tracked. So do you have that much time? So I need to go to the next level very quickly and to be competitive. Now when I'm saying Technology is there, they have developed certain software using the large language models or anything. Mm -hmm. But again, that is not going to end there, right? So there will be a lot of things in terms of cyber security, privacy. So whole lot of layers will be working in terms of a application management. So how I am going to do that again, a human being has to do it. It is not a technology. Yeah. And there is a big threat of this AI because of that. If the AI itself is trying to 
define and decide what should be the privacy and other things, then that is a bigger risk. That is why even the big uh, guys are also worried about the privacy and uh, the responsibility. It's a big responsibility for any a company to come with any solution. Okay. So I think opportunities are there. Uh, only they have to get into right kind of a technology we're using. So I just took four or five, but there are a number of other things looking into the verticalized solutions. Mm. So what I said is generally horizontal, like, you know, that will go across any industry, whether it is a banking, whether it is insurance, whether it is a transportation or manufacturing, all these things require these basic things. After that, then there is a domain knowledge, right? So somebody uh, you wanted to do a supply chain management, unless he understands the workflows and everything, he will not be able to give the inputs and ask his developers to develop that. From the perspective, how to optimize and rationalize their operations. So there is a bigger challenge. There is going to be pressure. Let me tell you, pressure to come up with the solutions quickly. That means there will be pressure to learn quickly. So whoever adopts it, they don't have to worry. The slow learners also no need to worry because by that time, once they get the foundational things cleared, then they can ramp up fast. Okay. So it's all new thing, right? So everybody were not knowing what, how a statistical modeling is helping AA. He was just doing coding, coding. He doesn't understand uh, what the domain and what uh, mathematical mm -hmm. formula I have to give. Now he had to understand. So go back to the institutions and <laughs> get back Again. into your learnings. Okay. So Abhiram, uh, tell me, I mean, these days uh, we are hearing most of uh, startups are uh, coming, right? So those startups are also need to you know, change according to the AI, uh, how it's going to be? Yeah, yeah, this is very good question, Simi. So what's happening is suddenly the shift in the startup mindset has changed dramatically. See, uh, till one and a half year back, I'm talking uh, prior to chat GPT. Everybody were trying to create some apps or some solving a problem. And then they are trying to do in the traditional uh, technology architecture and everything. Now, after chat GPT, the world has changed. So now suddenly we see that uh, there is a necessity. It is not about survival here. It is a necessity. Every startup should focus how they can use the AI to give the best of the product to the market. Because globally, everybody already transformed. So they are already building uh, all the application services, everything based on AIML models. But in India also, and uh, just to take an example, there is a company called Perplexity in US. So the owner is from Chennai. Basically, he went there and he created, he just wanted to disrupt the market, the way search will be done. So he is actually trying to give a competition to Google itself. So people, those who can understand how AI and this can be leveraged effectively and faster, then they can think about the models. So there is a startup working on say let's say he's uh, trying to create something like uh, oyo rooms okay okay oyo rooms is a traditional it is a matching engine right so i put a request then it will see from the database uh, which are the hotels available and what are the discounts applied and that's a very straightforward now it has to go for recommendation based on my preferences every time i don't need to give and click on that i'm looking for this budget this budget and all that mm -hmm. so this has to become smarter and then with the help of this already i know there is a startup in bangalore which is working i'm also advising them okay. so things have changed dramatically he changed although it is four years in existence now he shifted the model to adoption of aml so this is the change which is happening and to reflect this, even the government of India, I'm sure you might have heard that like, you know, in March this year, they came out with uh, India A mission. Yeah. Mm. So they have already allocated 10,000 crores only to promote and support all the Indian ecosystem of startups in the in India. So that means they already created an India AI mission. So obviously they are supporting startups also to base their models on the AI. So it's a very good news. Now, uh, I don't want to say how much uh, amount will go to everybody and that's a different topic, but their idea is there, the focus is there, mm -hmm. and India also want to become a startup uh, kind of a hub globally based on the AA models. That is where up to a PMO level it has been given. 
and uh, when any any time anybody are saying ai there is a multiple facets to it one is development of application and again there is a how a, a ai will be successful today's biggest problem is availability of gpus that is the reason nvidia is what it is today we can't buy a share also nor we can buy a gpu so both the prices are hitting the roof so this is the uh, thing even the government of india noted and they are promoting to set up some of this chip manufacturing in india okay. so there is a seriousness mm -hmm. and that means the idea i am trying to give you is today we don't have a choice we have to get in there and the discussion about privacy and uh, ethical way responsibility is a discussion across the globe everybody are talking but adoption is already started now that's where i feel that every startup in india already focusing just to give you a small example any company existing companies if you open their websites what they put is ai uh, as a service or a product in that whether they built or not it is not material so to that extent people realized there is a, so much of uh, like you know adoption of the ai okay so for the startups people in different different areas they are into right so what kind of areas if not into the only software where they can use this one this technology yeah ai is a uh, application right so it is a model that will go into various industries for example it could be ag agri tech it could be ed tech fintech and manufacturing and even the uh, it it can go to anything so basically that is what i call that as a verticalized solution so for a agri tech company they can use the ai model to predict what sort of crop is uh, go, uh, you can replace depending on the weather conditions availability of water rainfall and everything and uh, you will be surprised uh, our indian owned startups have gone into much deeper even i was amazed uh, one guy in i think coimbatore uh, somewhere so he what he did is even i uh, sorry it was in maharashtra so that guy he will not water the crop daily okay so the machine will tell now you water because uh, that has to get at a particular time so that the growth of the uh, plant will be faster to that extent so that much of data has been gathered and we are in the right uh, framework mm -hmm. so it will go everywhere even the way we are trying to manage our media and everything art entertainment everything it is going to be there and whether we like it or not that will define the future course so we have to upgrade that learn that skill yeah If learn you... that skill and so today uh, when you said learning learning is already started for example i can tell infosys recently mm -hmm. one year since they already started training all their workforce 5 lakh employees have been trained how to use the chat gpt when i said chat gpt it is not about uh, technical aspect prompt engineering is the major thing how okay. do you get the information mm. so if you it's like you know garbage in garbage out so the right question then you get the right answer how do i use these tools is also important and uh, thankfully indians are very good at it that's where we are at the ahead of others so yeah. you're saying uh, indians we indians are really good at on all the courses so yeah. how we are getting um, uh, the job market in abroad uh comparatively in india yeah uh, actually my recent experience for last 6 months to 9 months i have been traveling to us and also i was dealing with some of the customers i see for uh, entry level jobs in us has come down drastically come down only experienced guys are getting jobs and in india and uh, that is actually difficult but if they are trying to get into all the things what i said data engineering anything on the aml and robotic process automation and even in the iot digital twins then there is a huge market but at the same time is since because our companies have to get the clients from us only okay. so unless there is a investment it is a trickle down effect so i feel that our guys are ready and our low cost is going to make us okay. successful mm -hmm. so right now there is no problem people are hiring here and they are also training them Hmm. now over a period the training will come down drastically so earlier they used to train for 6 months and then do all kinds of uh, shadowing and everything now which will be at a very reasonable 1 to 2 months and then uh, the production they can be put in the production okay so as you are into 30 years experience in the uh, it industry 
So what is your suggestions and guidance to the freshers for the students? I would say the people who are at the third year and fourth year itself, they should start learning about all these things, about the prompt engineering and also start using all the things, whether it is Gemini Pro or uh, uh, this thing, Chat GPT, 40 is the latest version. Mm -hmm. So unless they get familiarized with that, and that is where they will have a head start compared to the others in the US. Mm -hmm. Because most of the people don't use it. So how to use and by the time you come into the interview and you are being onboarded, you are already ahead of that. As a technical guys, because they must be doing all engineering and everything, right? IT or as computer science. So they know the architecture and other thing. Along that, you also learn the courses in the data engineering. Okay. So data analytics. And I, I would also say use many of the tools like Power BI, Tableau and even Qlik. So this will help them to upgrade and quickly get into the working mode because these are the clear opportunities. When I'm saying I'm using only one thing, but as a QA also, there are a lot of tools like Selenium, GUnit and other things. How a automation can be done for the testing, that also if they are uh, getting ahead during their college time, then they are ahead. Because now companies are going to find many people, those who are competitive. So uh, we need to be preparing from just like uh, IIT JE when they start from schooling. Now when they are before they finish the BTEC, one, two years, uh, you know, investment in all these things will be much safer for them. Thank right. you so much, Abhiram. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and knowledge with us. So, Chusan Kadandi, expert Abhiram Kuda, Ide Chaptanaru, upgrade chess kondi, me skill set ni, then your jobs are saved and Chaptanaru. So, Idi Ivalti episode. Stay tuned and please comment below. Thank you.